Now the Justice Minister has launched an inquiry into the more than 300 truth and reconciliation cases which were handed over for prosecution more than 20 years ago. Now, these were mostly state-sponsored murders for which the perpetrators either did not apply for or, or were not granted amnesty. But former commissioners don't believe this inquiry actually goes far enough. That's right. Former TRC Commissioner Yasmin Suka says they want assurances that the inquiry will be independent of government influence. What we have learned from some of the cases that families of victims have brought is that, in fact, the executive deliberately suppressed the investigation and prosecution of these cases in the last 23 years. And this is now, of course, being confirmed by the full bench decision in the Rodrigues matter and, of course, then later confirmed by the Supreme Court of Appeals. And that is why we have asked as former TRC commissioners and victims of apartheid um, era crimes that in fact the minister set up an independent commission of inquiry. Now granted at the event um, that the Kalata Foundation held last Friday, the minister announced that he will be appointing a judge um, to investigate this matter. But the thing that he didn't say was under what legal procedure this will be and what we suspect is that in fact a retired judge will be appointed to handle a behind closed doors inquiry and that in fact um, this will really lead to the suppression of the truth behind what you know held the executive back from investigating these cases before and that will be a tragedy and in fact um, this runs contrary really to um, the whole question of the separation of powers. 